Good morning guys, today is our last day in Iceland and guess where we're going? Vic, I believe it's called. I could be saying it wrong, but it's V-I-K, so I don't know how else you would say it, but it's about two, two and a half hours away, so we're actually in a rental car for the first time ever. We have never been able to get one because neither of us are 21. Parker turns 21 in like two, is it two months or three months? What month is it, April? Three months. How is it April already? I don't even know. But yeah, Parker turns 21 on June 7th. And half a mile. So we have been patiently waiting for him to be 21 because all rental car places pretty much require you to be 21 at least in the US You're supposed to be 21 here, but the dude was like it's okay if you get the insurance you can work around it But most places like won't do that So once Parker's 21 we can get a rental car anywhere and we can also stay in a hotel anywhere because a lot of places require you to be 21 Most places it's 18, but that'll just be really nice. So we're counting down the days But yeah, we're on a little road trip today. Whoa these brakes are like super touchy. Yeah, this is like a newer car. And Parker like turned it on and what did you say? It was in gear? I don't drive manual, I don't know. It what was that in means. gear. It was in reverse. Oh. And like I don't know what that means. a lot of people leave their automatic or manual cars in gear when they park. I never did, I just used the e-brake. But I turned it on and to turn on you a like manual backwards. to turn on a manual you have to have the clutch in. So I turned it on let out the clutch thinking that we wouldn't go anywhere and it was in reverse so we like shot backwards and like <laughs> oh, we're well, good though we're fine yep so i'm we're excited right, for our little road trip i was looking right, up right. yeah we were looking up a bunch of pictures and just like different places to go different things to see i wish we had more time here because like we looked up what we wanted to do before but there's just so much to see here so like on a freeway and there's a bicycler. There's so much to do and so much to see and I feel like we just do not have enough time. So we are going to make the most of the day and see as much as we can in Southern Iceland. And it's gonna be a good day. Do you guys see this airplane? Oh, it's kind of far away for you guys to see. It's like swooping all weird and crazy. Looks like it's gonna land. Yeah, looks like it's gonna land. Oh my gosh. Touchdown and landed and now it's flying back up. Oh, there it is. What the heck? That was so weird. It like swooped, made like a zigzag, landed on the ground, and then lifted back up like one second later. We made a little pit stop. We're gonna fly the drone. We saw this beautiful place. We just crossed over that bridge and parked over there. But how pretty. The water is like such a unique color. It's like really blue, but it's just like a different color of blue than I've ever seen before, and it's so cool. So we have our camera right here. We're gonna take some pics down there. There's like a little cool building right here. There's a Domino's pizza and a subway over there. We got the drone out. It's not too windy, so hopefully we can get some cool shots. This is so much fun. I wish we could go on like road trips everywhere in different oh, countries. Yeah. I can't wait until we can rent cars. <laughs> we charged everything up last night, so hopefully we should be good. Normally some of our stuff dies in like the middle of the day, so we're conserving. It is so freaking beautiful here. I think this is probably my second favorite place we've ever been. Bora Bora is number one. It's just so beautiful. I don't think any place will ever top Bora Bora. So that's our number one favorite place. Would you say this is your second? What would you say is your second favorite place we've ever been? I don't know. I'd say this is my second. It's like up there, but Bora Bora is just always number one. What do you think? It'll take some like sitting and considering for yeah? me. Yeah? I love it. It's so fun. And it's so cool to see all the nature. Like I was just saying, it's so. it was so... We loved Paris and London just because the architecture and everything is so beautiful. But when it's like nature, it's just like, it's so pretty. I love it. All right, let's fly this guy. Ooh, I can't find it on the camera. I see it in the sky. It's over there. Flying it under the bridge right now. Oh, it's across. We made it. Fly it up over the bridge. 
It's like so scary when you're flying it over water uh -oh. because uh oh what? Why are you saying uh oh? It'll come back, it'll come back, it'll come back. Hopefully it's over the bridge. There we go. <sighs> there it is. Oh I know that's a light on the bridge. sandy it's like the black beach. yeah and the rocks up there are like huge like they're actual rocks but this big mountain is right here and look how cool that is over there we're gonna go over there in a second and take some pictures and stuff if you get closer to the water it's more sand yeah but it's so cool yeah but can you guys tell like how big those are it's definitely like pebbles i guess it gets more sandy oh crap <laughs> wow and the waves are huge like they're so big we're gonna attempt to fly the drone. It's a little bit windy because we're right by the beach, but look at this. This is amazing. We want to go down to that little arch thing over there, but I don't know. I don't really think you can get there. I think it's by water. But we saw a picture of like an arch somewhere. I saw it on Pinterest. That way. I don't know if that's it. I'll, that's we'll have it. to look it up because it doesn't look like you can. I guess you could probably be on the beach by it and have it in the background of your pictures. How cool are these? This is like seriously the coolest thing I've ever seen. We're walking around the corner. Be careful, babe. The water's going up pretty high. It's kind of hard to walk in this sand. Whoa. Oh. Eek. Ah. That's so close. Whoa. Check this out. Whoa. Babe, this is like the coolest thing I've ever seen. Yeah, this is cool. Look at that. It looks like it's raining in there. We're about to attempt to fly this. It's a little bit windy in here. It's not really that windy, but once you get out there, it's kind of windy. Also, we were taking some pictures down here and the backpack was right there. And then the water came up and like was about to get it. And I looked so stupid running up to try and grab it. But I saved it, but our map got kind of wet. We got this map in the car that we rented. Parker just ran away. I just hope a bird doesn't hit it or something. Ooh, there it is. Eee! Oh yeah, it's definitely windy out here. This, these pebbles are so hard to walk in. They're like really, really deep. Birds are everywhere and I'm trying to keep my eye on the drone but it's hard to not mix it up with the bird, honestly. We just ran into a problem and that problem is that our memory card on the drone is somehow full and it's like a little tiny memory card so you can't like we don't have an extra one well we do we, have an extra we do have an extra one kind of but it's in the stabilizer so we're gonna try and switch those out hopefully it's not too windy and you guys can hear me mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that looks like a really good lunch doesn't it we decided we wanted to get some chocolate cake for lunch because it looked really really delicious so we got it there's like a big humongous arch out into the ocean and i want to figure out how to get over there and get some cool drone shots of it but there's not really any land leading to it. Oh my gosh, it looks like these were like on my nipples. <laughs> you know on Mean Girls when like they they cut the holes out of her shirt and it shows her bra? That's literally, I was like, that happened to me because when I looked at myself, that's what I saw. Yeah. All right, let's taste Bye. Icelandic chocolate cake. Mm. That's good. We're on our way back. We're getting the drone out again. We're at this amazing waterfall. It's so cool and there's like a rainbow right there. So we're back from our adventure. We're leaving our car in this parking lot and we're just kind of a little bit confused about if we're gonna be able to get it out tomorrow. <laughs> the sign was kind of confusing but uh, the car we're driving is really small and there's like a gap between this bench and this other car and this tree And since our car is small I told Parker that if I like guided him out I bet we could get through it and we just have to go over the curve on the grass and stuff yeah. <laughs> So we'll see but we just tried to go get dinner 
at a pizza place and guess what the pizza place did not exist the maps took us there but it did not exist it was not there it was not a real place so we're walking back to our hotel there wasn't any parking in front of our hotel so we're like up the street but yeah, we're gonna get some dinner and then we gotta pack our stuff. We tried to get some drone shots. We wanted to get a drone shot of like the drone following the car, but it died right as we were like setting it up to film that. So we were gonna return the rental car today, but we decided we're gonna do it we decided we're going to do it tomorrow so we're gonna wake up early tomorrow and attempt to go get a shot of that today's been really fun it's been a good day 